Mike Machine here. Uh, today I will be doing a little product plug of a company and one of their products. Today the company to plug is Headhunters. If you're not familiar with Headhunters, they make drumsticks and creations. Unlike most of the big companies, they listen to their artists and they will not only um, create cool creations, they will listen to you as an artist. And I think that's really important to us these days to not just be force fed the usual, here's a 5A with a nylon tip or without, uh, to actually be able to say like, hey, I like the slope of this stick, but I don't like the tip, etc." So I feel like they are a company that listens to the artists. And therefore, as an artist, I want you to listen about what I have to say about them. And uh, feel free to check them out. And honestly, try to get them in your local store. Try to get the support happening. Uh, they're made in Ontario, Canada. They are fantastic. The build quality is next to none, in my opinion, and I'm really, 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 really picky. If anyone's ever worked with me, probably on any front in life, they would know that I've always got an opinion, and I've always got to push the edge, and I've always got to sass this, and say, oh, this could be a little bit better if you just had the budgets and all that, but you know what? I don't have any of these complaints with Headhunters. I get the product, and I'm about ready to give them all my sass, and it's just great. It's just working great, so I want to do the effort of letting you guys know that Headhunters Creations exists. They're out of Ontario, Canada, and I would like for them to get more response because I think the moment you try one or all of his products, you'll feel like I do. Like, why aren't these guys getting more uh, you know, notoriety or why aren't they getting more popular? And I think he is, but I'm just gonna do my part to help that. So Headhunters, if you're not familiar with them, get familiar. Uh, the next thing I wanna talk to you guys about is the old boring stick. You know, uh, everybody plays drums, uh, has their selection of sticks and, you know, their go-to gadgets. Uh, the great thing about Headhunters is he makes a lot of creations. He also makes a great stick. This is my personal favorite stick, the Headhunters Mark Kelso signature, uh, the Groovers. Uh, just great, uh, made of maple, have a great feel. But sometimes, I personally as an artist get bored of the feel of a drumstick. Or maybe sometimes the music needs something other than a drumstick. Like, hey, pack. I need something different. So I wanted you to kind of check out the difference with this product called the Collider. Now what's cool about a Collider is it's square edged with root sticks in the center. So it gives you a really cool grip around the hand. I really love how it has a flat surface for the thumb. And he has this really cool uh, grip kind of webbing. I don't know if it's made of a nylon or some kind of fabric. It's definitely not a rubber. At least I don't think it is. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know what it's made of, but it feels great. It kind of reminds me of like a samurai sword with that great ribbon weave kind of thing, but it doesn't have the, uh, the lumps. So uh, that was one of the features I just fell in love with. The other thing was is it has, you know, slidable elastics if you need a bit more slap or less slap. You know, really cool if you needed to tighten it up, but super durable. I've had these now for like a year. Super durable. And uh, I just want to show you kind of like what's great about it and what I like. So uh, if you took the sound of a drumstick, here's my Mark Kelso. Oh yeah, that's one of those Yamaha Phoenix. They sound great too. Um, sometimes the music doesn't call for a, a stick. It's just very abrasive. And yeah, texture is something we control as the drummer, but sometimes you just need something else. And the collider is something else. So. Let's say I'm just doing a uh, shuffle. Great feel for that. Nice and light to the touch. But if I need that wicked backbeat, you know, like a uh, tightrope by Stevie Ray Vaughan, it'd be like this. So he really provides a really solid backbeat compared to what I consider a normal root stick or a normal uh, rendition of this stick. It never really had the, the whap that I was looking for, but this one certainly does. And like I said, it's very durable having these flat, what I think are bamboo outsides, which I'm not sure is in the inside, but you can see that here. Flat on the edges with four dowels on the inside. But the build quality is amazing and I love the functionality. Works really well on cymbals as well. Yeah, just love them. 
So if you're uh, if you're like me and kind of feel like normal root sticks break apart after a couple tunes, you're like, oh, I'm gonna be real nice. This this person wrote a nice soft ballad song, and I'm gonna break out the root sticks. Well, halfway through that song, you need a new root stick. You've you've destroyed it, you know. And maybe that's just me. <laughs> maybe I, hey, Mike, you don't have good technique, or you need to chill out on your dynamics, bro. Uh, sometimes it just happens where you know you dig into the edge rim shot and boom, two of those dowels go missing. So this particular model I feel is great for durability and the sonic change if you need a nice light touch. It also provides a nice little slap of its own, which is really nice on say a cymbal work. So I'm really digging it and I just wanted to share that with everybody today. The Headhunters Collider. Check them out, get your local store to stock them and put out the word, Headhunters Creations. Thank mm -hmm. you.